Welcome back guys. In this episode, we are going to be optimizing the base and preparing to put in transit tubes, a whole transit tube system. That is going to be so cool. Um, I started playing around with the, with the transit tubes and whilst I have made provision for them, I found that I've got so many things that I need to change that like, I, I, I couldn't do the transit tubes in the same episode. So I'm going to do a, an optimization and preparation episode. This video is brought to you by me and my official game store's end of summer sale where you can now get up to 75% on great games like XCOM 2, City Skylines, Civilization 6 and all of the DLCs. And remember these are 100% official Steam keys direct from the developers. So check the link in the video description for more details. First thing I want to do, I want to move this ladder over one because my ladders are always in the wrong place. Actually, that's not true, but hey. So let's get rid of that. Right, one of the big optimizations that I'm going to do is the kitchen. And I'm going to set this base up for 12 dupes. So I'm going to have an extra bedroom going in over here. So doors there, 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 and there. Cool. And then what do we want? We want a bit of furniture. A couple of comfy beds going in there and there. We'll want a couple of nice pictures there and there and then all I need to do is rip out this sink so deconstruct that okay so I'm setting the base up for, for 12 dupes which means I'm gonna have six dupes on a shift I've only got four showers so I need a, an extra couple of showers the the big thing is gonna be the dining room you're gonna love the new dining room layout I promise you so uh, what do I want here I want um, plumbing and I want a couple of extra showers going in there and there and then just plumb them up nice and easy ship ship and ship ship all right cool I tell you what the base layout does make it kind of easy to do stuff like this one other thing that I could do I don't really need these pipes extending all the way across here so I think I'm gonna just run that into there run that into there so if I just run that pipe up there and those going to there, those going to there, those going to there. Yeah, that works. And then I can rip out all of those pipes. Just makes it a little bit tidier. And those pipes over there. Hooray, good news. All right, cool. How are we doing over here? So we've got these built so I can say, open that one, open that one, and open that one. And we want to lock the top ones. Lock, 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 and lock. Hooray. So all I've got to do to finish this bedroom off is throw in a bit of crown moulding. So a bit of crown moulding there, and there, and all the way across there. All right, sweet. Now, the only problem is, if I've got people coming in here, because I had a couple of sinks here, or a couple of sinks there, uh, because people are, are bringing in um, a bit like composting and whatever and they need to wash their hands so I'm gonna have to put in an extra couple of sinks so let's go now am I gonna do sinks or yeah I guess I'm gonna do sinks yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do sinks so let's throw in a couple of sinks there and it's gonna be if they're going that way isn't it yeah right so let's plumb them in then so what do we want we want the fresh water going in there, and then the dirty water coming out there. So, uh, now, all right, I've got this ladder sorted out. Now, why? Why am I messing around with this ladder? I will show you. Um, I want to rip out this other ladder. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to rip everything out. I want... What do I want? I just want buildings, don't I? Buildings. Rip out all of that please and once they've done that I'm gonna put in a few airflow tiles like oh which I can't because of the stupid cable ah okay so I've got to move the cable great <laughs> nothing's ever easy but this is what I meant when I started to do this like everything that I tried to do meant moving things around and it's like none of them are like particularly big things but and that goes in there, that one goes in there. Cool. I'll let them get that built and then I'll rip the other stuff out. All right, cool. So let's go over here. 
I am going to put in, like I said, a new dining, a new great hall arrangement, and it's gonna be kind of cool. So, I want to rip out all of these buildings. Boom! Bye bye. All right, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Hooray! Good news. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna have the kitchen in the middle, um, below the dining room. Uh, this is going to be cool. You're going to, I think you're going to like this layout. I am going to put the gas range uh, there and I'm going to put the electric grill, if I can get it, there we go. The electric grill is going to go there. Right, the cook needs to be able to get in and out of this. So we need ladders on either side, which means I need to deconstruct that tile and deconstruct that tile. And then we're going to have some walls going in. So we'll have a wall there and a wall there. The ladder goes there, the ladder goes there. Uh, I'm going to rip out those and three of those and three of those and those. And I'm going to rip these doors out for now. Good, 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 good. It's all going to plan so far. All right, that's good. And then. I'm going to wall up these ends as well. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And we're going to have some airflow tiles going on. Now, let's see. Um, how am I going to do this? We're going to have one, two, three, four. So, yeah, it's going to be like that. One, two, three, and one, two. That can be, that can be an airflow tile as well. That could be an airflow tile as well. Good, 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 good. Uh, that tile needs to be deconstructed, as does that one. And we're going to have some ladders going down into here. Because in here are going to be our fridges. Yes, we're moving our fridges from here and moving the kitchen from here. And it's all going to be here. And this is going to be quite an optimization. Trust me. Trust me. It's going to work very nicely. Uh, I need to get rid of that statue. Now I need to get rid of that statue as well. Because I need if I've got 12 dupes, I need 12 mess tables. So we are going to have, let's see, what do I want? Uh, furniture. We are going to have 12 mess tables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 6 on the other side equals 12. Hooray! Good news. And then I'm going to put in doors. And I'm going to put the doors on top of the ladders. Which kind of works. All right, sweet. Now, once they get these built, and let's get those built to turn this back into a great hall. Almost. It won't be a great hall because we haven't got any art at the moment. But room size is 90 tiles. And a great hall can be a maximum of 120. So that's fine. So room size, perfect. We will set this to door to be permanently open. This one to be locked this one to be open and this one to be locked all right sweet now you may be wondering well, what's going to go in here ah that's going to be the next episode that's going to be the transit system and this is a key part of the transit system all right so we can put in our refrigerators down here so so we're going to have 10 refrigerators which is which is going to be enough because if you look down here We've got, what have we got? We've got five, we've got 11, and we've got plenty of room in here, so it's not a problem. Uh, let's speed it up again. All right, cool. We need some art in here. Uh, but Sky, you bonehead, you haven't left any room for statues. Yeah, we're not gonna use statues, that's why. We are going to use furniture, we're gonna use canvases. And let's do it from the center, I suppose. So let's do one, two, three. And one, two. Well, oh, and I think I have run out. Yes, I've run out of reed fibers. But fortunately, if we come over here, there is a reed fiber over here, and it has like 30 reed fibers just sitting there. Right. The problem is, how do we get to it? Let's have a look. Well, ooh, we've got some nasty slime there. But if we dig out that and that. We won't be affecting the slime, and we can get to those reed fibers. Perfect. Oh, I've already done it. 
Hooray, good news. And... Oh, I've already said it to, to be harvested. Awesome source. Alright, so now we've got those, we should be able to put in uh, an extra picture over here. Hooray! Boom. That goes in. Alright, sweet. So, I'm going to have to wait for these to fill it with carbon dioxide. And to help them fill it with carbon dioxide, let's go to the, the gases overlay. Um, we want the carbon dioxide to come down here, but at the moment, it, the carbon dioxide, because we've got this solid floor in here, the carbon dioxide is going to be kind of pushed to the sides or, or down into the middle, which is not going to help it. So I think what we'll do is we'll put some airflow tiles all the way along here and all the way along there. Actually, um, I, what, what would really make sense, uh, let's cancel that one, cancel that one. And we'll actually block in those with regular tiles. So then any CO2 coming down here is going to actually going to get pushed over into these. So they should fill up relatively quickly with a bit of luck. All right. Awesome source. Now, the kitchen is going to require powering up and stuff. We'll get to that. Uh, over here, now that I've actually sorted this almost out, uh, I've got to do, yeah, I've got to do a bit of demolishing, haven't I? So we want to get rid of those, 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 and those. Hooray. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Happened so quickly. Living it. All right, let's get uh, airflow tiles, which I'm going to put there and there and there. What the hell? Cancel that one. Why won't you cancel? Cancel. Thank you. And we want an airflow tile there. All right, sweet. Uh, now, why have I extended this and put an airflow tile on there? Well, the simple reason is we have got a bit of polluted oxygen floating around the place. And I want to start digging out some of the slime. So now I'm going to start paying attention to any polluted oxygen in my base. Because as soon as you start digging into slime, you want to make sure that you haven't got any polluted oxygen around. So, we're going to start dealing with some of that. So what am I going to do? I am going to... Where's my oxygen? Oxygen and deodorizers. I'm going to put deodorizers. One, two, three, four. And one on the top. I think I'll put the one on the top. A little bit further over. There. Cool. Excellent. And as they build them, I'll increase them to priority six. In fact, much easier to do it that way. Boom. Boom. Come on, somebody get this one done. Boom. All right. And you'll see that very rapidly, this um, this dark green is the polluted oxygen. And this is the, the clean oxygen. And you'll see that very rapidly, this polluted ox oxygen just starts disappearing. Because this just munches it all up. And it's all going away. Right, good news. Uh, but down here... We've got a pool of polluted water, which is producing polluted oxygen. And it's just sending polluted oxygen up here. So, we need a bit more. So, I'll put a deodorizer in there. I'm going to put it on top of an airflow tile. In fact, I'm going to put it on top of... A, um, yeah, I'm going to put it on top of a couple of airflow tiles. What's the slime situation here? A little bit sticky. Um, let's dig out those four tiles underneath. Try and... Get some airflow through here. And when that gets built, make it priority six. Hooray! Now we've got a bunch of polluted oxygen up here. So again, deodorizer. Just throw that one in there. Make it a priority nine. Get it built. Boom. And make it come here. And make it priority six. Alright. There's probably going to be a load more places where I'm going to need to do them. All right, this, uh, we've got the paintings painted now. All right, so let's have a look. Yes, this is now a great hall for 12 dupes, would you believe? With a kitchen and everything. How are we doing with the carbon dioxide? Oh, yeah, we're already starting to get carbon dioxide building up in here. It'll take a while, but... Oh, another, another bit just drifted in. Cool. You'll see we've got little bits of polluted oxygen floating around. So, again, we'll get... Um, deodorizers. Um, where am I going to put these? I think I'll put them 
Let's put a couple there. And we'll put a couple there. So let's get rid of because I'm going to start working on these areas. And while I think about it, I'm going to drain these, um, these bits of polluted water to stop them producing any more polluted oxygen. So how the hell am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to start off with a bit of plumbing and a pitch pump. I'm going to put a pitch pump in. Um, they're all there. Let's put it in there. And I'm going to want a ladder there. All right, sweet. Oh, got a bit of sand came down there. Let's get rid of that. Thank you. Finally. So once they get rid of that, that'll be active. Now, what they'll do is they'll they'll pump that and bring it up here, and that will go into this system. The thing is, this is quite warm. This is what 34 degrees. And remember, we're trying to keep this very cool, like below below nine degrees, which I think this is gonna have a hard time coping with. I don't know. It, it's it's going to bring come up fairly slowly, so yeah, it might be all right. It might be all right. Let's see. It's being recycled at the moment because this is up at around 11 degrees, but it's coming down. But they're bringing 200 kilograms of um, of warm water at a time, which is. Yeah, this is going to struggle to cope with that. So I think what we'll do, because the water is very nice and cool. I mean, we're down below 10 degrees, the water coming in here. I think we'll, um, at least for a while, we'll bump this up a little bit. So let's bump you up to like 11 degrees. So if we bump it up to 11 degrees. Yeah, now the water's being sent out to the purification system. And this is still staying around 10 degrees. Yeah, in fact, it's down to 8 degrees now. Yeah, maybe I didn't need to worry. But I'm going to give it that little bit of leeway. Because we are going to be bringing in a fair amount of warm water over a period of time. All right, so um, so let's see. What do I want to do? So I, I um, we need that one to do this. All right, so let's, let's start getting this going. Let's get a deodorizer. Uh, let's have a deodorizer there. And we'll have one up there. Let's start on this side, I guess. Do I want do I want to put one over the other side? I don't know. Um, maybe put one in the middle. One on that side, one there. Okay, it should give me should give me reasonable coverage of that area. Awesome. Now I'm going to be starting to um, to get rid of some slime. Which is going to be a bit of a pain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in, I'm going to use wash basins for this. I'm going to put in a couple of wash basins over here. Am I going to put more? Um, yeah, go on. I'll put in four wash basins. That means that four people can be bringing uh, nasty, germy slime into here. And then we'll get uh, a bunch of storage bins. Let's have like one, two, three storage bins. This is where I'm gonna be storing slime. So this is gonna be set direction left. This will be set direction left and set direction left. And this one's gonna be set direction left as well. Okay, so this is gonna be for organic slime. And I'm gonna set it to very, very high priority. And we'll copy the settings to the other two. All right, cool. So now, if we bring any nasty, horrible slime into here, which somebody's just done, but this is, I bet this wasn't germy slime. No, this wasn't germy slime. Okay. Now, remember that um, you need wash hand basins both when they pick it up and when they put it down. So here, this is where they're putting it down, and then the, all the germs will get killed in the, in the chlorine room. Um, but where they're picking it up, for example, over here, we're also going to need sinks. So what do I want? I want um, medicine, wash hand basins. Uh, let's do... 
Let's do a couple there. In fact, let's do three. And then... I'm also going to put one in there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put one in there. And I'm going to mop up this little spill here. So I'm mop that up. No, I could actually put another another wash hand basin in there, potentially. Should be a good thing. All right, we've got our wash hand basins, which I'm going to leave both ways. Because it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so we've got lots of nasty slime lying around. So the thing to do is dig out the stuff which is not contaminated first. So uh, do I want to dig that out? Uh, no, because I want to continue getting rid of the water. Uh, a good way to get rid of this water might be to mop this up. Can I, I wonder if I can mop this up now. Is it, yeah, not quite. I can mop that. I can mop that. You know what? Let's dig. Let's dig this one out. Come on, somebody! Come and dig this out for me. Yeah, Honk Briff, boom! He picks up the slime. Now let's have a look. He picks up the slime. He gets himself clean because he would have been very germy. Then he runs up here, dumps it in there, cleans the germs off himself, and everything's good. Right, and it's just going to be pretty much rinse and repeat. The thing to do is do it slowly. Don't try and do it all in one go. Now, let's see. we got polluted oxygen in here. I'm pretty sure we have. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got polluted oxygen in here. So, we should take care of that. Let's get... What do I want? Let's get a deodorizer. Let's put a deodorizer there. And I'm thinking maybe one there so we'll need an airflow tile underneath it there puffs can be very very useful when you're mining slime um, because they they eat the polluted oxygen so you know what um, I put that in a bad place really but I could put an airflow tile underneath let's uh, if I if I dig out this bit of slime here and hopefully you'll see with a bit of luck so let's prioritize oh already done okay so what will probably happen is this will pr uh no they've already got it <laughs> they've already got it and taken it away this is the thing about doing it slowly is you don't ha you don't really have any problems if you do it nice and slowly let's put in uh, an airflow tile underneath here what i was going to show you was that the the slime will start to vent polluted oxygen which is full of germs but this guy will eat it so we've got tiny little bit there and there. Come down here and eat this. So look. Oh, he's still got a little bit to eat up here. But he will just go around and eat that, and it just gets rid of it completely. So if you've got a puffed, or you can move a puffed into the area, um, it really helps out with uh, with digging slime. But it, even if you don't have a puffed, uh, just put air purifiers around the room, and uh, problem solved. So we can. Um, Start digging out. Now I've got, I can have three people coming in and doing this stuff, so. Good job, see, he's covered in germs, washes himself before he climbs all over the ladders and leaves a trail of germs everywhere. And then goes in here, puts it down, which covers him germs again, and then he cleans himself and gets on with his work. Hooray, good news. Alrighty, cool. Uh, one other thing, that I'm going to have to do in preparation for the next episode is um, is redo this area up here because I need a three wide gap for my pole, my plastic ladder, and my transit tubes. And if you look up here, first of all, uh, buildings. I need to get rid of that. And on the same side, on the other side, I need to get rid of that so that my poles can go up there and let's see uh, I'm probably going to want to move my power over a bit yeah I think I'm going to want to move my power over a bit but you can see that this slot here 
for the transit tube runs into this wall here. So this, this whole thing needs to be moved over one and this whole thing needs to be moved over one, which is a real pain. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run a ladder down there. And I'm actually gonna, am I gonna get rid of it? Yeah, go on. Yeah, cancel and deconstruct that one. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna deconstruct that tile and that tile. And I'm gonna have a fireman's pole. Now, this is probably gonna change a little bit, but um, I kind of need to put this in for now. So let's put that in, and I'm just going to use, just going to use a regular ladder for now, and then I'm going to rip out. Once they've done that, I'll rip out these other two ladders. Okay, so that's that. Uh, down here, I need to make a change as well, because I want the transit tubes to go through this nature reserve. This nature reserve. Um, I've discovered a bit, by a bit of trial and error. The transit tubes, if they pass through a nature reserve, will pick up the bonus. So, this is what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that and that. I tell you what I should do. I should get the I should get the research going for it, shouldn't I? Of course I should. Let's go down here and get the research going. So we're going to be doing hazard protection and transit tubes. So hazard protection is going to give us exosuits, and we'll be doing exosuits as well. Oh, all the cool stuff, all the cool stuff is coming. We're going to be able to get jetpacks soon as well. <laughs> awesome source. All right, for now, let's go down here. Okay, so what we're going to have over here is a pneumatic door going in there. We'll have a transit tube going through this square. And there's a there's a special tile like um, like these tiles for heavy watt um, the heavy watt joint plate that allows a transit tube to go through a wall or a floor or a ceiling. So we'll be doing that. Uh, I need to do the same down here. So deconstruct that, deconstruct that, and flip that around. Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! Do this one. Thank you, Alex. That goes in there. But for now, I'm just going to replace this with an airflow tile there. And then we're going to want to deconstruct that tile, deconstruct that tile, and deconstruct that tile. Cool. And then we can get rid of that door and these two air tiles. Awesome source. And then I want to do the same thing on the other side. So. Deconstruct. Let's do it with the, this. Buildings. Let's do priority seven. So, yeah. Get rid of that one as well. Get rid of... Now, I'd like this to be at the same level. So, actually, we want it there, don't we? So, that's where it's going to be. So, we'll throw in pneumatic door. Flipped around. Popped in there. We'll bring the fireman's pole down. And the ladder down. And of course, the ladder's on the wrong side, because because it would be. We'll um, we'll have now. Oh, come here, come here. We'll have the ladder extending down there, and we'll rip out that ladder, and we'll do the same. We'll rip out that ladder. Oh no no no! Should only be building. Why is that? Cancel, cancel, deconstruct. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of one of these washout basins because I want to put that ladder down there. I suppose I could do it later, but I kind of feel like doing it now. So, yeah, we'll do it now. Washout basin. Uh, deconstruct priority nine. Go. And then I'm going to be able to put my ladder. Well, deconstruct that tile. Deconstruct that tile. All right, cool. It's like you're going to go up there. Come on, somebody do this one. Thank you. Boom. That's going to go there. And then the fireman's pole is going to come down there. All right, sweet. 
All right, good job, good job, good job. Now, ultimately, I'm going to rip these wires. Um, like, ideally, I would like this wire to be going, like, out here. So I've got a hell of a lot of slime to start getting rid of. Let's finish off. Well, let's... Um, Let's dig that out, and we'll dig that out as well. I don't really need to keep this puff trapped in here, but I think I'm going to anyway. They're very busy with all this construction. Ideally, what I want to do is get this water mopped up out of the way. So let's, uh, let's do this price. Uh, get that dig dug out for me. Digged. <laughs> get that digged for me. Right now, here, <clears throat> when I get rid of these, I don't want them falling down here into this water, ideally, because I don't want to risk transferring the slime lung into the, into the water. So the way I like to do it is... Um, now, what's, what's in here, by the way? This is, yeah, we've got polluted. So this is a good way of doing this. What I'm gonna do is get some airflow tiles. And where do I wanna do it? Probably, probably there. Let's do a row of airflow tiles. And uh, I can get away without doing that one. Yeah, they can get on top of there, so that's good. And then we'll put in like, a couple of deodorizers. Now, ultimately, I'm going to want to get rid of this water as well. Okay, we've got rid of that, so uh, let's see. I need to get rid of this one as well because I can't mop that. So let's, let's dig that out. Let's make that a priority. Dig that out for me. And then I can mop out all of this nice water. Come on, guys. Somebody get on the ball. Get this dug. Here we go. Good job, thank you, Honker Briff. Good, good, good. So now I can mop that water up so I don't have to worry about that water. And you'll see, we've, we've managed to keep this germ-free at the moment, which is kind of awesome. Let's deconstruct that, that pitcher pump. And then we can think about putting a pitcher pump in. I'm gonna regret this now, because I bet they're a little bit too, they're a tile too high for me to put the pitcher pump in. Yeah, I freaking knew it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'll just about go in there. Go on, we'll put it there then. All right. And make that priority nine. So we can start emptying that water out. Good, 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 good. All right. Okay. Um, as far as this is concerned, I can now rip these. Rip all of these out. Uh, yeah. All of that lot including the doors. I don't know why I put those doors in. I never really actually needed those doors. And one other thing I could get, I, I never got rid of these. Um, the, the whole point was that the dupes have access to, uh, to fill these up with dirt or whatever from underneath. So in actual fact, I should rip these tiles out. I'm just wondering if I want to do it now. And in actual fact, it's fine. So I rip those out, rip those out. And you know what, I think we can rip those out. So let's do the same on that side. Awesome source. Oh man, moving all this over one tile into the center is gonna be a real pain. But I'll get it done, I'll get it done. All right, how are we doing over here? Uh, we need to be able to get down to this. So we need a bit of ladder going down there. And let's put in just a regular tile there and we'll put a ladder there all right sweet that'll work then we can get that mopped up get that taken away uh, looks like they're starting to take water from here up here I'd like to see somebody doing it here we go so they're getting all of this mopped up awesome and then I want to dig out those two tiles there Sweet. Okay, you know what? Let's let them get all of that stuff done. Let's get, let them get this water emptied 
and then and then uh, and I might start moving this across, and then we'll come back to it and see where we are. Well, it's over 50 cycles later, uh, but I have got a lot done. I've uh, I've moved this all in one, so I can now strip out this outer set of uh, outer set of tiles, so I can now have my my transit tubes and my uh, ladders and poles going up the outside, which is awesome. Um, I ran into a bit of an issue here. This was starting to overheat. And where are we now? We've, we're sitting. We've been sitting around 98, 99. It did touch on 100 for a little while, but it's actually the funny thing is that this over here. This is this is our, our, our base cooling mechanism. Yeah, let me speed it up for a second. And if, if you take a look at the temperature of the water here, it's it's switching around between... Well, now it's down at 18.2. You do get the, the, the occasional packet of water that's a little bit warmer. But this has been coming down. I think, I think at the beginning of this episode, this water was up at around uh, 20, between 21 and 22. And it's got down below 19. Now, 19... Is the uh, is the temperature cut off here? So if the water's above 19 degrees, then it goes to be cooled. If it's below 19 degrees, then it just goes back into the reservoir. Now, what one thing that I have done, I've changed these back closer to what they were. Now this used to be at five and five and six, I think. Um, I've dropped them down to seven and nine. They were up at like um, 11 and. This, I think this one was 11, this one was 9. I've dropped them down a couple of degrees. But that hasn't even had time to feed through. If we look at the temperature of the water along here. This is 11, 12, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10. So it, it's, what, it's 11 degrees here. So we're, we're going to drop down like another degree or so with the water going into the cooling system. So I think the base is still going to get a little bit cooler. Which is, uh, which is kind of good news. And it's certainly good news for this. I was worried that this was actually going to overheat, which is why um, I ended up digging out some of this and put in some, some tiles made out of uh, sedimentary rock, which is, um, which is thermally conductive. This has got a, a thermal conductivity of, of two, which means that it conducts heat. And I've put in a bit of a heat sink here to take some heat out of this. Uh, and I was getting ready to even pump this uh, polluted water out. Well, like for an, as an emergency measure, I was actually thinking of putting a pump in here, pump the water up to a sieve, and then actually feed it in here if this was starting to get uh, close to overheating. But we'll do something a bit a, a bit cleverer here at some point. But um, but yeah, that's that does seem to be pretty nice now. I did have a little bit of scalding going on when I was doing some of this, so I got put a couple of triage cots in to uh, to repair the damage to my little dupes. Right, so um, so yeah, I got I got a bit sidetracked on that. I, watching this took a lot of these cycles, in actual fact. Now down here, I've stopped here because I wanted to show you one thing uh, and to show you how I've been dealing with it. Most of the most of the slime lung is contained in slime or algae. Okay, so up here, um, I had this one set to uh, slime, and then I put switch this one to algae and this one's uh, almost full now almost full and then every now and then you will come across odd uh, like odd cells which have got some slime lung in that's not in either slime or algae and, I, and i've found one here so i saved it for you so for example we've got clay here um that's clay but that hasn't got any in so we can dig that out and I can, I can actually dig all of this out as well now. Get all of that, start digging. So um, when I dig this clay out, what I'm gonna do is this. So I've, I've already done this with some, uh, with some granite that I ran into, so I've got some granite in here. See, granite. So I'm now gonna say, don't store the granite in there. So now they'll go and put that away. All the germs have been removed. And then, now let's see, this is clay, so this is gonna be... Oh, this is uh, cultivatable soil, isn't it? So I'm going to set clay. Now this is set to nine and it's set to sweep only. So what you want to do is this. Go over to where you're, where you're digging 
and set this to be dug. Oh, they can't quite reach that. So let's extend my tiles again. Okay. And when they dig this, what we're going to do is instantly sweep it. Let's uh, let's crank up the priority on this so that they get this done, hopefully nice and quickly. Here we go. Boom. Somebody going to come and dig this now? Hopefully they are. Here we go. So, as soon as it's dug, then I want to set that to be swept. And then, what they'll do... So, Lucy's grabbed that. And then, she'll wash her hands because she's she'll be covered in germs. And then she'll run up here and take it into here and dump it in this container. There we go. And then, all of those germs will get killed... And then we can dump it and, and, sh and ship it off into, into storage. You can see over here we've got we've got some other clay that I didn't spot, which has been put in there. But the germs die in uh, in normal oxygen anyway. It's just they die a lot faster in uh, in chlorine. So uh, do you do you need to worry about it? Not really. Um, sp Sparrow priest, you're covered in germs. Move over to. Um, where have I got my sinks? Move over to there. So that you so you have a wash. There we go. So that's got him clean again. Okay, so um this now I've got so that I can I can pretty much I've got a few I've got a few little bits to do, but I can pretty much seal off this side of the base completely. Which is blooming awesome. And what I'll do most likely is run this insulated tile. Uh, down here. I may move this in a little bit. I may get rid of these um, these extra toilets and wash basins because I only need one of each in there. So I may shrink the base down a little bit so that I can uh, I can stay away from this water. Otherwise, I'm going to like if I if I actually want to run this ladder all the way down here, I may have to start messing around with this water, so which I don't really want to do at this point. Okay, that said, one last thing to do, and that is. Uh, you know, let's um, set this to gases. I was looking at metals because I'm, I'm very, very low on iron ore. I've only got like two and a half tons left. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Also, I'm very low on coal. We were at 100 tons. We're down to 10 tons. So I need, uh, I need to put another form of power in. Or I could get another load of um, stone hatches going. Um, but I think we're going to put another form of power in. We've got we've got loads of natural gas, so I think probably we'll start using some natural gas. Right. Uh, the last thing, yes, the last thing is we've got carbon dioxide in here now. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. So let's get the kitchen going. We want conductive wire. Now let's see. I want. Oh yeah. Well, let's put in. Let's put in a large transformer over. Oh no. Oh, because I've got that there. There we go. That goes in there. We'll put in some heavy watt wire to hook that up. Then we'll take our conductive wire, run it across, and let's see. I want to go up into here, don't I? So let's go up there, and that's going to power that and that for now. Awesome source. And then we need the we need the gas as well over there. So let's get our insulated gas pipe. And I'm just going to extend this across up into here. So let's run that. Uh, run it. Let's just run it down like that straight in there. That'll be fine. So I'm probably going to find somewhere else to store my natural gas. But, but that's okay for now. So with all of that done, a couple of last jobs to do. Electric grill. Copy the settings from that to that. And then the gas range, copy the settings to the new gas range. And then rip out the old one. Deconstruct. Oh, Guggets is cooking. I'll let him finish. There we go. And then deconstruct priority nine. All right, sweet. And then we want to copy the settings from here into these and then we can start getting rid of these so let's get deconstruct buildings only please and those those and those hooray and then they'll have an absolute frenzy 
shipping all that stuff up. Look at all this, all this stuffed berries and omelettes and surf and turf. Awesome. Have I got, have I got a gulp fry egg yet? And the answer is no. I've got, I, I've, I've been looking for a gulp fry egg, but I haven't seen one yet. All right, awesome. So our kitchen has now been re relocated. I'll talk more about this in the next episode when uh, when we're we're putting in our transit tubes. I I must admit I'm pretty excited for that. Um, one thing I should do I should extend my ladders up there now. No reason not to have the ladders all the way up. All right, sorry. Yeah, we'll talk more about the the effect of this optimization. Um, but basically, what we've got now is that um, at the end of the day, they come to the dining room, they grab some food which is right right by them, they can then eat, hang out by the water cooler, go to bed, go to the toilet and all that kind of stuff, and then when they wake up in the morning, go and have their showers, and then getting them to and from their remote jobs. That's what we're going to be dealing with in the next episode. Don't miss that because it's going to be a cracker. You're going to love the transit tubes. And, um, and I'm going to be doing some stuff up here as well, which is going to be very... So, yeah, I'm so glad to have got all of that out of the way. And I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.